It's always like your birthday with a package from China, so let's go. Hey hey, welcome back to the channel, it's awesome that you're tuning in. Because in this video we are going to take a close look at this 16-bit Mega Drive, or oh, wait, it's even the Super Mega Drive system, or mega drive system okay whatever so what you're going to get with this is always the question that's the reason i would love to review it just to see if you don't know what this is all about so basically i buy a lot of stuff from aliexpress i love the packages from china and just to see if there's any decent products out there they make so many weird devices and this is one of them it comes with a professional game chip that is something they put a lot on the boxes nowadays connect to tv mm -hmm. classic games and save and load and particularly the save and load function that is quite interesting i am a big fan of the sega genesis or mega drive and i must say that i'm always curious if we can find any good like say clone system that have like new functions so the first thing let's take a close look at the controller and i must say that i find it pretty damn awesome they're giving you like the six button controller what i find also very interesting with this is that we have like the option to put in a player one or player two position there's a function you don't see very often and yet yeah, the controller isn't very nice quality like it feels almost authentic to the original one especially the d-pad feels very nice yeah there is no built-in battery so we need to put in an, only one single AAA battery so we're going to do that later on just to see how that actually works but i think it's pretty damn cool it comes with a wireless controller you already can see over here that they will have like the mega drive 2 version and oh boy this thing is uh, like super lightweighted it's absolutely like plastic fantastic oh the most important thing smell it because yeah sometimes they smell chemical but this one doesn't so it is just like this cheap knockoff i was hoping to basically play original game but it's unfortunate that we don't have this option reset at the front we're going to get two usb connections so that's kind of weird then we have like an hdmi out the input for the z card because that's basically what we're going to get this is basically like an basically an everdrive that they made in a system and the input for the micro usb 5 volt so yeah that's basically what we're going to get we're going to get ourselves the micro usb cable there is no power supply so we're going to use ourselves like a random phone charger not a fast charger and of course oh we don't need to forget the toilet paper manual how do we open do i freaking open this ah there we go so that explains how everything works like it makes no sense basically if you're going to read it like there is no useful information in here Oh yeah! <laughs> but okay, so let's take a close look at the main menu. I have seen this before with some plug and play devices. So we do have like sports, shooting, fighting, folder, puzzle and adventure. So let's take a close look at the ROM folder first. Okay, so basically what you need to do is adding them to the SD card and here you can basically boot them up. But we're not going to take a close look at this because I just want to see if we can basically like play some games, what is on here, how does it look. What I do like about it is that we have like this very nice thumbnail that shows what kind of game it is. Kind of like a weird shape because it's basically like cut part of the image off. But out of the box we do have like a lot of things. Pressing select brings you back to the main menu, start go into the menu. So there are a lot of familiar games on it, play your hazard battle. Okay, so let's choose fighting. Clay fighters, Doom Trooper, Doom Trooper is not really a fighting game, it's more a shooting game, but okay. So we do have like a lot of different games, Eternal Champions, of course we have the Fat Man. Na 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 Fat Man! Mortal Kombat, or Mortal Spanking, I love to say, is also here. So we're going to try a couple of them out. Puzzle games. So this is basically like the one I've reviewed before, the plug and play, but this time we're going to get like a different form factor. Yeah, so you get the idea. So let's first, let's try some games out because I'm really curious how they will sound. Oh yeah. Mortal Chicken 2 or 1. Don't know. Let's go. So far, so good. Okay, the controller plays absolutely amazing. If you want to do the movement for the ice ball, no problem whatsoever. Also, all of the buttons have been mapped correctly, like it should be when using a stick button controller on games like this. Sonia, go lay down and not be a bitch. Good girl. 
when pressing select to start at the same time, what we're going to get is into the special menu. We here have like resume the game, quit, making quick load and quick save. So I think it's pretty damn cool. Screen size can be even like switched to full screen or scaling up. So if you want to have the original XPS ratio, and then we have like, if you want to switch between different regions, if you're losing a different kind of ROM file. So I think it's quite interesting to see all the options, something you don't see very often with mm, cheap devices nowadays. So the unfortunate thing is that I did found like two games or basically the same game. I was thinking at first, but they even put some different regions in here. So let's boot up the first game and then the second. So I can show you and also can let you hear what the difference are. So this is the Paul version. So let's switch now to the other game. You can hear like it goes turbo mode or I'm not really used to this of course. So the reason I chose this stage, I can absolutely dream this soundtrack. I even listen to it in my freaking car when driving. So when it comes to the music, it sounds absolutely amazing. And also when playing a little bit more, you can just hear all the sound effects you hear. Man, I love this controller, absolutely amazing. I can only like spam that freaking move with a good controller. Oh yeah. So for me the ultimate test is 3 to Rage 2. Alright. So it's not spot on, you can hear it like the weird sound like dun, 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 dun. That is not like it should be. Alright, so let's go into the game. So when you're listening to the closely to the background, as a big fan of the soundtrack, you can hear there are some minor things off. But if you're not familiar to the soundtrack, you will absolutely not hear it. Alright, so the next thing I wanted to try out is the scaling up, or basically like scaling down. Without any problem. So. I must say like, maybe I was a little bit too nitpicky when it comes to the Mega Drive part or the Street of Rage with the audio, but in general I'm more like, you know, it's not sounding bad at all. Alright, let's go back to the load function. I really love that to make a screenshot of it. Let's see, press start. Oh, there we go. Sometimes you can hear like a hiccup or something like that, but I think it's forgivable. Okay, so next up. That's basically how I feel in the morning. You know how it goes. Punch him in the face, kick him in the balls. Punch him in the face and kick him in the balls. That's the way how we need to play. Woo! Beefcake kick most. Come up, come up. So let's do a quick tear, rip and tear. And yeah, I must say that I find it absolutely and quite interesting piece of technology, especially when you're looking at the, <laughs> I mean, emulation, of course, for people did not understand that. So first thing, I really love the logo. So this thing looks kind of cool, like kind of interesting, like way. It feels very lightweighted, very cheap, but let's do a quick opening it up. Just see what are we going to get in the inside? Because it's always like the question, is this thing, like having a big main board and of course what kind of technology is running on because it's it does like have this minor hiccup sometimes but besides that it's like emulation and overall is not bad at all even have the function for an everdrive so it's not like you're stuck with a certain kind of games they finally like adding games to this didn't like okay i wish i didn't like show you the sd card this is basically like a 512 megabyte but the fun fact like it's big enough because general rom files are not very huge so you can even like slap on a lot of them 
All right, so let's open it up. So the top part, there's nothing special in here. So it's kind of interesting. It's like you would say like this mold is prepared for having like a slot, but nothing else in here. So this is basically what we're going to get in the inside. Like we're going to get two PCBs and this old school ribbon cable. So the front will have the two USB ports, the on and off, and the micro switch. Oh, that, that sound. Over here we do have like an interesting board, but there is nothing much to see again. So the unfortunate thing is we don't have any information about the chip they are using. Yeah, they send it off. Don't know why they do that. It's absolutely wicked to do that. So then we have like another chip over here, but there is nothing much to see. Not a lot of information. So we do have like some information on the chip. This is the Enix chip that is using. Then I have it like over here, the date or better said any information about it. Like the date says here 2022. I'm guessing this is the production date. But we don't know for sure, of course. So I do have like over here some information. This main board called the DFG01 AHDMI version 1.1. Maybe that's the reason why it's not super bad. Because it's not the first one. So I have like over here the antenna for the wireless connectivity. But that's the only thing that we're going to get inside. It's kind of laughable if you ask me. For the people wondering like what can we do with the USB port. Now, I can tell you, let's go to try it out just we're recording this video because I'm really curious too. So we're going to plug it in over here just to see if it's going to be recognizing anything. Okay, so the screen flickers. Let's see if we can move around. No, any, there was nothing. That's kind of weird. Like there was no, there was no nothing. What the hell is going on with this? You know, it's kind of weird. So let's plug in another controller laying around. The tie. I was called the Batop. I was like something. I would almost wanted to say something differently. And I'd like to plug it in. Wow, it's glitches. But also this one doesn't do anything. So come on, in my opinion, like this is the freaking Xbox 360 that will almost work with everything. I can go to my storage and get like the weirdest control out there that I know for sure you cannot find because they are like absolutely like horrible chemical plastic. I just want to try good two good ones, but unfortunate. The USB ports are pointless. Maybe you can find any like one weird looking control that works, but I tell you, it's going to be a nightmare. If this doesn't work, in my opinion, I'm giving up. Yep. Crap. Oh, crap. Okay, guys, so this is what we're going to get with this 16-bit machine. I must say that I'm surprised the way how this thing is when it comes to the overall quality of the gameplay. And it has a minor hiccup or stutters. Kind of weird, to be honest. It doesn't like randomly do that. But besides that, like it's a lot of plastic fantastic because there's almost nothing in the inside. I think they're using the same technology in like these tiny plug and play sticks I've reviewed. Besides that, the controller is absolutely amazing. I must say I'm very happy with it because it gives like a very authentic old school retro experience. Just the way how it feels, just how it plays is perfect. But yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think of this? Would you like consider having something like this? It's a fun novelty, that is what it is. You can play 16-bit games. I can do some more testing if you want to. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell. And it would be great to see you in the next video.